Your email address serves as your online business card. It's often the first thing that prospects notice when they interact with you, and it may greatly affect the kind of impression you make. You must therefore take the time to create a business-related email account. And that's why I am here to help you with how you can create a professional email address that can be your golden ticket to the future. Let's get started. It seems to make sense that your email address can have a significant impact on open rates given that 47% of recipients decide whether to read your email base just on the subject line. Therefore, save addresses like Queen of the Realm, Poppy Beer Lover, or spoiled rotten 123 for your own email account rather than using them elsewhere. It's crucial to have an email address that exudes confidence when talking with potential prospects and current consumers. The best email addresses are simple. Do you agree with this? Although it may seem ideal to use your name, many simple first and last name combinations may already belong to other internet users. You can also have problems if your name is long or spelled differently from the way it is typically spelled. So without further ado, here are the ways how you can create a professional email address that can help you reach and be reached by your clients anytime and anywhere. The first one is, you should keep things easy to remember. Even though an address would normally seem to be simple to spell correctly, misspelling one is widespread because so many individuals do business via the small screens of their mobile devices. Your business connections could find it too tough to contact you and go on to someone with an easier address if you ask them to remember a long string of letters and numbers. Let me know in the comments section below about your first ever email address and let's see if they are easy to remember. The second one is, your email address should be pronounceable. On are those days of complex and hard to pronounce email ads. They are not effective anymore. If you phone or speak with someone and provide your email address, he or she should be able to write or repeat your username correctly without needing further explanation from you. In the professional world, you'll need to read your email address out loud frequently. So make sure it's simple and doesn't need much explanation. While we are here, I want to share with you an amazing masterclass that I have for you, plus an AI tool to automate your business. Link in the description. Click the link and go check it out. You'll thank yourself you did. The third one is, you should have your own domain. Gmail is seen as more current and relevant than AOL or American Online. For example, if you use an email provider, and this decision may affect how customers see your company, even if there may be excellent suppliers besides well-known ones like Gmail. Choosing a platform with a difficult to spell or hard to remember name won't benefit your company in any way. If you can get one, choosing the right and custom domain for your company might also be a wise move. The same rules apply when coming up with your URL. Make sure it's memorable, pronounceable, and easy to spell. But why is it important to have your own domain? The first reason is that you establish credibility and trust with your future customers. The second one is, it makes you and your company appear more professional. Third, it defends your trademarks and copyrights. And the fourth reason is, it makes a brand more visible, remarkable, and searchable. The next one is, do something creative yet professional. Having an email address that's a little more unusual and quirky can make sense if your business has a distinct specialty or if you utilize comedy as a selling element. If you decide to take this course, however, be sure that the address you pick is consistent with the image of your company. An email address like Hackerstopper07 or Pushing Daisies or Lovely Angel may not get a positive response from contacts if you're cold emailing them about a serious subject like data security or life insurance. While we are here, I want to share with you an amazing masterclass that I have for you, plus an AI tool to automate your business. Link in the description. Click the link and go check it out. You'll thank yourself you did. Don't forget to choose your display name once you've chosen the ideal email address through the list I have mentioned. Choose a subject line that makes sense to the recipient of the email, such as your name or a name and business name combination. And of course, you are now good to go and compose your email. Happy emailing! Now I've got another super secret tip about making money online that I want to share with you. In fact, the video that you're seeing on your screen right now explains that in more detail. Click the video, watch it, and your future self will thank you. See you there!